What's up, tubes? PDR time. If you watched my other video on putting the Gen 8 box into this PDR, uh, then you'll know about this. If not, then this is the PDR. It's got a Gen 8 um, ish gearbox out of the P90, the new P90 from Bing Fan. They've replicated a Gen 8 gearbox but put the motor down this way instead of down this way. And uh, I've installed that in here. One thing I didn't have for this blaster was a mag. And I still don't have a mag because reasons. But what I do have is this drum mag. And you probably noticed this bit of silicon hose already. <laughs> so originally on this blaster, this uh, fake EOTech thing was the, the hopper. So you'd fill 20 or 30 balls into that and they would fall down gravity feed into the chamber and then fire and um, yeah that was okay but now that I've got the gen 8 box in there this is insufficient you can't fit enough balls in there and the gravity feed just it just doesn't provide enough force into the chamber you got to force those balls in there so um, I've got this drum mag and I'm probably gonna work something out like this so that's where we're heading. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull apart this drum mag and see how that works. Alright, so, um, pretty simple design. Uh, that's the front, that doesn't do much. This is the uh, Little wheel that feeds the balls. I'm going to just get some additional light here so you can see what I'm doing. Is it better? Alright, so that's the little feed wheel. Uh, motor inside there. And it's just connected up to the mag terminals. Which get their power from within the blaster. Uh, so the way this works is this... Uh, sits in there there's actually a little funnel which sits over the top of here um, uh, which way does that go yeah sits over the top of there so this uh, this funnels all the balls that sit in here down into this wheel and that wheel spins around and it feeds the balls up this tube so this Sits in there. As that wheel spins round, it feeds the balls up this tube. And it pops up out of the top, usually into the bottom of your blaster. Now, because that's not really going to work for us uh, with this particular setup that I've got, I'm going to modify this somewhat. So probably take that tube out and the associated paraphernalia that goes with that tube because uh, I'm not going to need it I'm probably not even going to need these mag terminals because while I am going to drive that motor it's going to be Done differently. I'm probably just going to wire it straight up. So, wire it straight up inside the blaster. So, I will remove them. Uh, I will still want this. So, I still want that motor to feed the balls up. Still going to need that one. Want that to operate in the way it normally would. Like that. But what I'm going to do, uh, this tube, I'm going to modify. So I think what I'm going to do is run the tube 
uh, into this into this piece of silicon and up into there. All right. So I've got everything stripped apart now, and you can see that the mag will not fit in the mag well as such because the mag well is mostly occupied by gearbox now so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to mount the mag sort of on the side there uh, it's going to mount somewhat like this on the side and then the feeder tube will come down into the top of the mag here so first thing I'm going to have to do for that to work is I need to get my feeder tube to interface to the little piece of silicon that I have here on the gearbox. So I'm going to go something like that, but of course this is too long so I'm going to, I'm going to cut the end off of this, um, just dremel it off. And then I'll fit this piece of silicon uh, about there. I'm going to cut it off about here so there's enough for me to feed that in there. Uh, let's just do it. Safety squints on. Clean that up a little bit. And then, once I've done that, this bit, hang on, just gonna clean this up a bit. All right, so now, once I've cleaned that up a little bit better, this bit of silicon should squash down over there. And then that, should interface with that and then you see where I'm going with this all right good I hope we're on the same page awesome so now this should fit oh wow that fits almost a little too well was this made for this that's awesome that really works. Okay, cool. Um, now, I'm just going to screw and glue this mag to the side because the way this drum actually works is it opens up and you pour the balls in from the back. So I'll never have to actually remove the mag from the blaster, so I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, this is cool. All right. All right. Just screwing in. A couple of little self tappers into here just to get it into position. Um, and once I'm 100% certain that that's a good spot and that it doesn't foul on anything, I'll probably glue it into position as well as screw it back in. So that looks like she's in a good spot. So there, okay, now the beauty of that location is that with the tube and everything and all of that screwed in, I should be able to slide the drum on. <laughs> and reassemble it in situ without having to uh, disassemble any of this so that can remain glued onto the body or screwed onto the body and then I can just uh, you know put the mag back together in situ get all the motor and everything in from yeah well, you, you know what I mean so I've got enough, the, the point is I've got enough space so I can slide that forwards and out Awesome. All right. Uh, let's put the 
gearbox in. Make sure she doesn't foul on anything. Trigger switch. Safety switch. All right, yeah, oh, those screws have got plenty of clearance. Heaps in there. Awesome. Not causing any dramas there. Got my uh, tube here, which I can insert there. Ready to roll. All right, um, I'm going to assemble this all back together. Wait, forget that. Got to do this. There's no point having a mag connected if there's nothing to run the motor and prime it. So I've got to run the wires in. I knew this was too easy. So, uh, all right, it's easy. Just going to run the wires down into there. I'll probably punch a hole through here just so that I've got somewhere to run the wires down into the mag. All right, so I'm just going to feed these wires through the standard hole. I've punched a little hole in the mag here. I don't know if you can see that. Now I'm just going to try and feed the wires up through the hole. Got one, got the two wires. Uh, I'm just going to run them up here to the back of the motor. I don't think I'll bother putting a mag prime or anything into this just because it's just for fun. I'm just going to run it there so that when the motor runs it primes a mag. Job done. Nice and simple. Alright. Alright, get these just soldered on here, into the motor. And we are ready for final assembly. So, let's get this motor plugged in here. Position that on the tube there. Slide that in. Slide this one in. Just got to whack these three screws in here. And then the final piece, the rear housing, which also is where you feed the gel balls into. Let's pop the screws back into that one, and we'll be ready to reassemble the housing of the main blaster. And now just for aesthetics, we're going to pop the, what was the original hopper, the fake EOTech, back on um, 
Uh, so interestingly enough, it actually mounts backwards from factory. Don't know why that is, but hmm. just for aesthetics purposes, I'm going to pop that one back on. Just sort of hides this feeder tube a little bit. Not really, but masks it slightly. <laughs> and there it is. Finished PDR with John Mag and Gen 8 Gearbox. Moment of truth now, test firing. Alright, let's load the drum mag up. Close that up. And... Safety switch. Oh, here they come. So I think the uh, 90 degree bend here into the top might be a little bit tight, so I might pop that out and um, just go a single loop and see how that goes. Alright, so I've switched to Milky's now because the orange ones uh, with the larger diameter were having a bit of trouble feeding, so these ones seem to feed a little bit better. getting low on either ammo or battery, either one. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Yes, uh, the battery's a little low. Yeah, you can, yeah, there it goes. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> PDR with a drum mag and a Gen 8 gearbox. Uh, that's good fun. And it's tiny, it's snug. Tucks in there real nice, and the um, I've because I've got the mag offset on this side. When you tuck it in to your shoulder here, it doesn't get in your way. So uh, that's good. I think this is going to be a good fun little blaster when I put a new battery in it. All right, people, that is all from me. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, do all that good stuff, buy me a coffee, and I'll be back at you later on with some more Gel Blaster videos, uh, hopefully doing some crazy mods like this one. Uh, I've still got my SCAR build in progress, if you're wondering why this is, I'm doing this instead of building the SCAR, it's because I'm still waiting on parts, but um, that'll come soon. Alright, peace out, catch you later YouTube.